Politics has discovered that millions of illegal immigrants are getting bigger tax refunds than you are. And it's all because of a massive tax loophole that costs billions and you're paying for it. Our investigative reporter Bob Siegel has spent the past three months uncovering this problem right here in Indiana. He tells us tonight how the IRS is simply handing out your tax dollars to people who don't even live here. We are not showing his face. And he does not want you to know his name. But this longtime tax consultant does want you to know what he's discovered. There's not a doubt in my mind. There's huge fraud taking place here. He came to 13 Investigates to blow the whistle on a nationwide problem with a huge price tag. We're talking about a multi-billion dollar fraud scheme here that is taking place. The scheme involves illegal immigrants. Illegal immigrants who are filing tax returns. You see, everyone who earns money in the U.S. is required to pay taxes. The IRS says it's even required for those who are working here illegally. Of course, undocumented workers aren't supposed to have a social security number. So for them to pay taxes, the IRS created what's called an ITIN. It's an individual taxpayer identification number. While that may have seemed like a good idea, it's now backfiring in a big way. I think the public needs to know about this. This tax preparer says his office has been flooded by illegal workers who have figured out a loophole. It allows them to use their ITIN numbers to get huge refunds from the IRS. The loophole is called the Additional Child Tax Credit. It's meant to help working families who have children living at home. But 13 Investigates has found many undocumented workers claiming the tax credit for kids who live in Mexico. And we're talking lots of kids. We've seen 10, 12 dependents, most times nieces and nephews, on these tax returns. The more you put on there, the more you get back. Our whistleblower says he has thousands of examples. He showed us some of them after crossing out all identifying information on the tax returns. We're getting an $11,000 refund on this tax return. We're claiming seven nieces and nephews. Here's a return right here. We've got a $10,300 refund. Nine nieces and nephews. I can bring out stacks and stacks. It's just so easy. It's ridiculous. This undocumented worker says it is easy. Mucho dinero. I am. See? Mm -hmm. He agreed to talk with me and a translator as long as we didn't reveal his identity. He admitted his address is being used to file tax returns by four other undocumented workers who don't even live here. And what's more, those four workers claim 20 children live inside this one trailer home in southern Indiana. And as a result, the IRS sent the illegal immigrants tax refunds totaling $29,608. But we saw only one little girl who lives here. What about the 20 kids claimed as tax deductions? Hay 20 niños viviendo aquí. No, no viven aquí. Los otros niños pues en su país de origen, que es México. Have those children ever lived here? No. Uh, y nunca han vivido aquí. No. Never. They've no. never lived here. There's some people who say that they shouldn't be getting that money for children who don't live in the United States. If the, if the opportunity is there and they can give it to him, why not take advantage of it? Other undocumented workers in Indiana told me the same thing. Their families are also collecting tax refunds for children who do not live in this country. Have the children in Mexico ever lived here with you? No, no. All of those children are in Mexico? Yeah. While this may come as a surprise to you, the tax preparer says it should be no surprise to the government. The IRS has to know what is going on here. The IRS does know what's going on. 13 Investigates has proof the agency has known about this problem for years. And officials here at IRS headquarters have done absolutely nothing to stop it. The magnitude of the problem has grown exponentially. Russell George is the U.S. Treasury Department's Inspector General for Tax Administration. His agency has repeatedly warned the IRS additional child tax credits are being abused by undocumented workers. These Inspector General audit reports show over the past decade the abuse has skyrocketed, now costing American taxpayers more than four billion dollars. Keep in mind we're talking about four billion per year. It's very troubling. 
He says even more troubling, the IRS has not taken action despite report after report from the Inspector General. We have made recommendations to them as to how they could address this, and they have not taken sufficient action, in our view, to solve the problem. What does the IRS have to say about all this? Well, I called and emailed for weeks, and I even went straight to IRS headquarters in Washington to get answers. But the agency said none of its 100,000 employees had time to meet with me for an interview. Apparently, the IRS doesn't have time to respond to some tax preparers either. Last year, our whistleblower noticed dozens of undocumented workers had used phony documents and false income to claim tax credits. He reported all of it to the IRS. These were fraudulent, 100% fraudulent tax returns. And you told the IRS that? Yes. Any response from the IRS? Absolutely none. We never heard a thing. The IRS knows about this and they're letting it happen? Absolutely. Is it okay to leave the system as is? No, it is not. Four billion dollars a year. Once the money goes out the door, it's near impossible for the IRS to get it back. There's one more number I want you to think about. Two million. That is the number of undocumented workers right now who are getting tax refunds because of this loophole. The IRS claims it can't do a thing about it unless it gets permission from Congress.